good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome back. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed my little bonus video. I want to show you some of the results. One of the really cool things with this PSP is that I'm able to tur uh, hit on tur push turbo on. So, really quickly, I was able to grab all of this. Um, these are important. I'm not really 100% sure why, but we'll go with it. So, I'll probably come back off screen once I finish the video and do it again. Uh, so the first place we're going to go is we're going to go back to the castle. Once I find it. should be right here. We're going to go boop. Oh, nope. Well, I didn't want to drop up there because you can't get off there. Okay. There we go. Go inside. We're going to go find the fat chocobo and drop all these sirens off. These are for later. Oh, wait. No. We want to go this way. All these people dancing in the room, weirdos. So off screen, I have been working. I've been working on Zelda um, Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild. I think it was because I do. I'm looking forward to really getting involved in the new one that just came out because I'm hearing nothing but great things about it, and I'm really interested because I really like Breath of the Wild. Um, I really like, um, <clears throat> I really like, uh, Skyward Sword too. I'm going to really work on, uh, Breath of the Wild heavy at work tomorrow because I'm doing the third shift, which means oh, it's going to be dead. Um, I don't generally do a third shift. I'm a first day, first shift Monday through Friday, seven to three, but I'm doing a favor. Alright, so let's go ahead. I don't really need that. Let's see. We're going to add some new stuff. I'm going to grab the emergency exits. Don't really need this stuff. I don't ever use it. Okay, there is weapons I want to pull out. I I'm yawning. Okay, so let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, we should be getting close. Okay, blood sword. We want the blood sword. We want the blood lance. Um, and the ogre killer. All right. I think that's it. All right, so we've done a lot here. That's pretty good. So. Okay, cool. Um, I think the inn is right here. No, that's not the inn. There might not be an inn here. Okay, so we're going to head to Coco Forge next. Uh, we're doing a bunch of little side missions. I don't really know what this is going to lead to, but this is what I was told to do. So this is what we're going to do. So we're going to get back into our little thing. We got a bunch of side missions. So the first one is Coco Forge, which will be... Uh, it's about one second east. Which way is east? East is left, so one. And then just go all the way south of the... I'm assuming it's this thing. Kakal's Forge. Okay, so what are we doing here? Not much, it looks like, but there is something important. Um, there are two treasures in here. Let's see if they are. I'm going to assume you're one or you're not. Okay, so where are they? Check the urn on the left side. One of these urns has something. Found a remedy. Go upstairs. Oh, and check the books. Show. Got a Soma drill. I don't even know what that is. Increases max MP by... I don't know who to give that to. I'll think about it. All right. So, I, you're going to laugh, but that's that's it. That was the only thing we're doing here. But it's still kind of cool stuff. Uh, apparently, you'll get a really good weapon here later on in the game, but we're not there yet. That's near the end of the game. So, we're going to go ahead and leave here. We're going to jump in our ship, and we're going to go to a place called Tomra. Let's see. 
It's southwest of the castle. So this way. I'm going to assume this is it. All right, cool. We are rich. So let's see. What are we doing here? Um, there's an excellent shop. But first, let's find some items. Two steps to the left. Okay. Follow this road into a building with a lot of chest. Holy crap. Zeus's Wrath, Bomb Fragment, let me guess, Antarctic Wind, 2000 Gill, Dry Ether, Bestiary. What is a Bestiary? What the heck is that? Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. We got everything. Now we're going to go shopping. I'm going to show you everything, and then I'm going to buy everything off a camera, off screen, because you know how this works. Uh, there's the inn. Apparently, this is an amazing shop. So let's see what we got here. Okay, that's pretty good. So uh, that's not better. Those are pretty good. I might buy a couple of those. All right. Sir, get out of my way. I'll punch you in your eyeball. Sir? Okay. Those are good. 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 So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to buy here. A lot of stuff. All right. So, what else? We're not done. Uh, actually, we might be. So... Okay, we need to get Rosa to level 35, but we're already there because Rosa needs to learn float, <laughs> but we're already there, so that's cool. I will be right back. Okay, so welcome back. I'm going to show you some things. Um, I'm going to remove all this stuff so you can see how good it actually was, so let's see. I think you had that. Okay, no. And you had Mithril Gloves. Okay. Gold Hairpin will give you Sage. Rune Armlet. Ice Shield. I guess this is stupid, isn't it? Hold on. Let me do this a different way. So, Diamond Shield compared to the Ice Shield is not much stronger, but it's still stronger. Diamond Helm, again, same thing. But, uh... So it's just stronger overall. Let's see. Gold hair. No, 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 no. So that's a lot better. The same thing here. Okay, so cross the board. So you can see that I did not get the rest of the stuff that I wanted to. Um, I'm going to need a grind for almost 100,000 gold. Uh, I'm going to do most of it off camera, but I want you to see some of these bad guys, because there's so many bad guys here. Alright, so. I have it on auto. So we have a Hell Flapper and a Caterpillar. There's only a couple of these. I'm going to show you. I wanted to, Do you see these guys? And there was a flower. I don't like this slow. It slows me down. Sorry. There's not a lot of money here, but it's something. Yeah, I don't think this is where I'm going to do my grinding. So I'll be right back. I'll be back when I get 100000 and then buy everything. All right, welcome back. So it took a while. I mean, I had to make $100,000. Gil, sorry. That's a lot. So um, I got everything equipped. So uh, now diamond everything. Our attack is really nice. Our defense is pretty good. 
Um, we I bought 99 silencing arrows for uh, Rydia, which brings her attack up pretty well. Um, diamond everything except for the blood lance, except for the weapon. Uh, and 99 silence arrows here. Now, he can't wear a lot of new stuff, but we gave him what we can. So he's got a diamond armlet. So he's a, he has a second best attack. So... What did I say? So Cecil... Ambidextrous. Okay, I didn't know that. That's cool to know. So we're done here. I did want to show you this. This is a really good place to buy everything. Or you want to continue grinding and make money. You can get 99 and everything will be set for life. Um, that's crazy. But uh, one of the problems or one of the reasons why this game is kind of easy at the moment is because I am really over grinding because I'm trying to get everything. Yeah, but whatever. So we're going to go, we're going to another area. We're done here. We got everything. We're equipped. So we're going to be going, let's see. This is a, we're going to a little area. It's not technically a dungeon, but yeah. Okay. Has more difficult enemies than the rest of the map. So we need to go back to the Dwarven Castle. It says we need to go north. For about two seconds. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, and then it says go west all the way. Charlie, please. I may, uh, this might be, let's see if this is it. Is this it? Good boy. No. That's not it. That's the next step. We're going there next. So let's go down a little bit. I went too high. This is probably it. Three step. <laughs> this isn't it either. Hold on. I may have gone north too much, so let's keep looking. Well, give me a second. Be right back. Going to have to pull up a map to find out where this is. All right, welcome back. So on further review, I couldn't find what this guy was talking about. He called this area the three-step strip, which is actually this right here. And apparently, if you're here, you get a couple good bad guys. You get some stuff from Beast here. I don't care. So we're going to move to the next place, which is going to be the Sylph Cave, which we found. We actually found that one. Um, it says here the enemies are pretty hard here, so be careful. I should have a lot more potions and a lot more remedies and a lot more stuff, but I'm overleveled by a lot, so we're going to take a swing at this. Wish me luck. Um, you need Rosa to be at level 35 because the dungeon floor hurts. So you need her to be that there because then she can cast... float on the entire party so now we're all floating okay we got some bad guys already that's no, not that bad okay we're in for a fight I see there is a chance that we may not do this dungeon yet we'll go we're gonna give it a test I can't believe this thing. This thing's not dead. Dude, can you die? Okay, these things are strong. I just realized Edge is dead. Well, there goes him. Okay, 
I think we're going to run. Okay, so I've decided we're not doing this. <laughs> that dungeon's not worth it right now. So let's go ahead and continue with the normal story. I do apologize. I wasn't expecting it to be that difficult. Boy, did I just learn a lesson. We can do it later. So we're going to go and continue with the story. Because that's the easier of the two games. Um, give me a second. I'm, I'm a little unhappy with how things are working. Give me one moment. All right, so let me go ahead and apologize. I thought those would be easier um, <clears throat> than what was right. Everything so far, everything has been. We're going to save those. <clears throat> Instead, we're going to go to the sealed cave. Um, there is one punishment for going to the sealed cave is you can now no longer access. Once we beat the sealed cave, you can no longer a uh, access the Tower of Babel. So at this point, if you want to get all the bestiary listings this is the time to do it and also get as many sirens as you can i got plenty i think i hope fingers crossed um this is a pretty bad place um from what this guide is saying and you have to be careful with trap doors i guess that's a bad guy we're gonna fight they can hurt you badly um and if you have a poison axe even though it's weak uh it's advised to equip it because they're very strong against some of the bad guys in here so we're going to move forward. Here we go. Brandish thou the seal unraveling mark, and the path to Dark Crystal shall be open. When we get here, we're going to go ahead and use Luca's necklace, and that shall open the way. All right, so we're going to go south first. There should be a rope. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. All right, so, oh, oh, I messed up, y'all. I messed up. These are less merit, so they're really weak to poison. Boy, <laughs> I completely forgot that I had ran from a fight and needed to heal my people. So let me go ahead and Nagarata. I'm going to go outside, pitch a tent, and move forward. You going to attack or are you just going to die? Oh, you attack. Ah, you, you do all right. See, so I'm getting low. Okay, so let's try this again. Boy, oh boy. Whoops. I need to make some money so that I can start. Wait, what the hell did I just do? Whatever. I don't know what happened. Probably used something that I didn't need. Whatever. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, let's continue. I need to save money so I can start buying items because I don't have any potions or anything. And that's a problem. So we're going to go south here. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Sal, go down the rope. Continue south to examine the door to the room here. It is actually a monster. The door has transformed into a monster. Okay. So this is a trap door. These things are dangerous. Apparently they have something that can hurt you. So one of the things that we can do, we can't kill it. If Rosa has it, does Rosa have it? Does she have reflect? She does not have reflect. Do you have Reflect? Cast Reflect on the person targeted. Because if, if this thing casts, it's got a move called the Ninth Dimension. If it hits you with it, it can kill you. Instantly. So go ahead and make sure you cast Reflect. They can also summon bad guys. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so that's the first trap door, I believe. Um, mm 
Okay, so we got an E there. Once you have done that, continue down the stairs. What? Wait. Tetsu. Weird, it doesn't say... It... Wait, what? I'm confused, but we'll go with it. I'm assuming that's a better weapon for you. It is. It just says there's an either in here. It didn't say anything about the Kotetsu. Um, oh, because I'm in the wrong one. Okay, there. That's better. <clears throat> Who says we have a moon ring blade? Give me a second again. Okay, I'm back. So I got a little thrown off there because it said something about a moon ring blade, and I don't have a moon ring blade. And of course I don't. I, I didn't go through the two optional dungeons. So yeah, there's that. So Kotetsu is the best thing that we have right now. Um, if we had the moon ring blade, it would be better. Uh, we could put him in the back. All right, so... Open the chest in the south. Mm. Oh, we got vampire bats and a vampirus. Blood feast. Come on now, quit it. Ooh, 1400. I like that. That's a cool number. Chop her down. Chop her. Kill her. Okay, her blood feast hurts a little bit more. She's got pretty decent HP. But she is now officially dead. Alright, so we have a chest, really. That was a lot of blood bats, or vampire bats and a vampires. I decided to run because I wasn't ready. So this should be a bestiary, which I'm probably going to throw away. Climb back up the rope and head east. Why am I hurt? Okay. Oh, oh, I fell down the rope. Oops! There's two Nagarajas. Don't look at me weird, I didn't name them. Wait, 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 wait. What is going on here? Oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> so we're supposed to move west. And then there's another rope we can go up. Is that correct? There's so much information. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. There should be another trap door. I think I'm going to beat this trap door up. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Or until next time. So, same same concept. Alright, so it's targeting that person. Or it's targeting Rydia. So as soon as you can, you want to cast Reflect on Rydia so that Rydia does not die. Alright, that should do it. That way, if it casts that dimension, whatever it is, it kills it instantly. Like that, ninth dimension. Thank you for dying. All right, so I think this is where I'm going to leave it. I may go in this room and get this stuff, and then I'll leave it. So we go inside. There should be a high potion. And, oh, there's a lot of ethers. Uh... Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and beat these. These are also two more trap doors. I don't know. I like fighting the trap doors, and you guys are going to watch me fight all the trap doors. All right. Rosa, I need you to cast Reflect. All 
All right, one more to go. There's nothing in these rooms, just a heads up. Thankfully, these bad guys are kind of stupid. So, until next time, I'll see you guys. We'll continue through this sealed cave. There's a lot more trap doors and a lot more items. And eventually, we're going to go after those optional uh, dungeons when I feel like I'm able to actually fight and not die a lot. Okay, so until then, adios amigos.